today's scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance and the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, for you are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not, in you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? And he will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to the eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Gracious and everlasting God, open our hearts to hear your word. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. I've told you before the scriptures that I don't understand, and there are several, in, especially in the book of Revelation, that I don't understand. I don't believe that God is going to hold me responsible for those things that I don't understand. It's the things that I do understand that kind of bother me. Anybody not understand what she just read? Did you understand that? Yeah, that's, that's easy to understand. And, and that's what we're going to be held responsible for. Because we do understand it. We, we see that the, the king is sitting on his throne judging the nations. And he comes in and and he separates the sheep from the goats. The sheep he puts on his right hand and the goats on his left. And he, and he tells the people, the, the ones on the right, enter into the blessedness of the kingdom. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me to drink. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you came and see me. I was in prison and you came and, and saw me. And they were astounded. They said, Lord, when did we see you like this? When did we see you in this type of situation? And the king says, when you did it for anyone, any one of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. They didn't understand that the things that they had been doing in life were a part of God's plan, were a part of God's ministry for us. God lets us participate in the ministry that he has for us here. I understand this. Let me, let me give you some statistics. You're not going to like these. I looked these up. You know, you can Google anything nowadays. I Googled this. Nine million people die every year from hunger. Lord, have mercy. 
One out of nine people will go to bed hungry today. Lord, have mercy. Sixty percent of those who go to bed hungry are women or girls. Lord, have mercy. Twenty percent of the children of the world in, are, um, are hungry, undernourished, malnourished. Every ten seconds, a child dies from hunger. Lord, have mercy. One billion don't have access to safe, drinkable water. 4,100 children die from diseases caused by contaminated water. Lord, have mercy. 80% of the people in the world of, of uh, global diseases. 80% of global diseases are caused, they're waterborne. 22 million die every year from drinking bad water. Lord, have mercy. The poverty rate in Mississippi is 22.6%, the lowest income in the United States. Lord, have mercy. Is there anything about that you don't understand? We try here to be a part of the, to do our part to feed those who are hungry. And there are hungry people in Lamar County. There are, there are hungry people, hungry, hungry children. You know, I know that we get taken sometimes with our food pantry. I, I know that, I understand that. But what we hope is that, that even though those people don't deserve it, that the food will somehow make its way to their children. We, we hope that the children will be fed. You would be surprised at who is hungry in Lamar County where we live. You would be surprised at the people who live seemingly normal, middle class lives. Go to bed hungry. Have hungry children. Have malnourished children. Lord, have mercy. You would be surprised at the number of children who go to school without coats have no jackets, have one set of clothes they have to wear every day. Lord, have mercy. Sleep on mattresses on the floor if they're lucky, or pallets made with blankets on the floor. Lord, have mercy. You'd be surprised at the number of people who live from paycheck to paycheck. Well, a lot of us do that. But in the poor, especially in those who are poor, a lot of times the children pretty much raise themselves because mom and dad are working two jobs. They work in jobs where they don't have benefits. They may work 35 hours a week in one job and 30 hours a week in another job. In order to be able to put food on the table and have a place to, to, to lay their heads, they work these jobs. And when something happens, when something comes up, they need tires for the car or the one of the children is sick, they have to go to the doctor. They have to take that money out of their pocket because they don't have benefits. And it throws everything else off. They may have to go without food in order to be able to pay the bills. God allows us in His infinite wisdom 
and His infinite love for His world. God allows us to participate in the ministries that feed these people, that clothe these people, that provide water for these people. We, we don't really understand any of this. Most of us have never gone to bed hungry in our lives. Most of us have never had to drink muddy, dirty water. Most of us, most, most all of us, live way above the poverty level for our state. And yet we hunger. We, we hunger for something that is bigger than us. We hunger for a purpose in life. We hunger because we need something in our life that stands for something. And being able to participate in these ministries of food, of clothing for children, for adults, God allows us to do that. See, God is with them. And God lets us participate in the ministries that He has with them. There are a lot of different kinds of food ministries out there. I, I love, personally, I love feeding people. I love to think that, that we're, we're doing something good when we, when we feed people. I, I like that. But we're not all able to be a part of that. And, and you know, some people, what, for example, have other gifts and, and something else kind of turns them on. Uh, you know, I love feeding people, but, but I also like hammer and nails. Sometimes I feel closer to God nailing a nail in a wall or putting up sheetrock with sheetrock screws with one of those presents where Casey goes, one of those wish book presents, you know, with the, with the drill, working with that. Sometimes I feel closer to God doing those things than I do when I'm in my study. And sometimes people are unable to go on mission trips and do that type of thing that are exciting things, that opportunities for us to go and be where people are hurting and in need. But you can support them. There, there is a ministry where, where we, can, we can do a couple of things as, if we're not able to go. I don't know that, that I'll be able to go on many more mission trips. Um, well, I've gotten too fat, and diabetes kind of saps me. But you know what I can do? I can pray. I can pray for those who go on mission trips. And another thing that we can do, if you can't go, maybe you can send someone in your place. Maybe you can participate in the ministry of, of food or, or of a mission trip by giving money so that someone is able to go, give a scholarship so that someone is, is able to go on a mission trip. Lord, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you 